Hello everybody out there, Chris here, and first and foremost, Happy New Year everybody. It's a bit late, but I decided to hold off on this announcement video until after we closed out the old year's worth of episodes for the review, and as this video is being shot, Mike and I just finished 2014's final review um, for the big two. We did the indie review last night, so we officially now closed the book on 2014 and opened the book to 2015. In a metaphoric and a literal sense, 2015's books, the first week of January, will be released in two days. So, anyway, with the new year comes new announcements. Now, in 2014, Dark Avenger Inc. became Comic Frontline, and we soared to new heights. And it, it's been an amazing journey, and definitely looking forward to what's happening in 2015. Frontline Gaming Zone was created towards the end of the year. Was in, it was in its beta stage in, at the end of 2014. Hall of Toys separated. Hall of Toys became a live show, and Hit Points was created. Our gaming podcast. I say our because it's mine and Brant's gaming podcast. And also on my channel, I started live shows on Friday. Now, before I get into the announcements for my channel, I'm going to just touch on a few channels that I am connected to and things to come from me on those channels. First and foremost, Mike and I brought back Brooklyn Boys 13. So you can look forward to a lot of videos. The only time we shoot Brooklyn Boys 13 is on Saturday. So a lump, a lump amount of videos will come out on the weekend. The 360s, we'll have some random skits here and there. And we're working on a couple other funny things for Brooklyn Boys. But that's our skit. That's where we kind of let loose and do crazy, random, wild things. So you have lots to look forward to on Brooklyn Boys if you like that stuff. If not, there's a lot of other things going on. On Comic Frontline... Uh, Mike and I have been absent the past couple of weeks due to the holiday season. You know, it was my son's first uh, Christmas. So a lot of shopping, a lot of last-minute shopping, a lot of preparing and setting up for the, for the holiday uh, kind of took us away for the past couple of weeks. But now we're in the new year. The holiday season is over. So Mike and I will be rejoining the rotation starting with the first week of January. You know, it's new year now. Holidays are done. So we're jumping right back into the fray, and our reviews will be starting up again. Mike's already done a couple of books from last week on Comic Frontline. Uh, I did a Funko Spotlight. That's another thing that's coming back. We still got the 1-Up Box, the Loot Crate. We're going to be bringing some casual gaming reviews. Lots of stuff is going to be coming from us on Comic Frontline, but the most important thing is the comic reviews, which will be back from both of us uh, starting this week. Now, speaking of gaming, let's go over to Frontline Gaming Zone. 2014 we were in the beta stage technically for this month I would like to say we're still in the beta stage but by the end of the month we will be out of the beta stage because we finally decided to move forward with frontline gaming zone there were a lot of delays who lost internet um, what game really pooped itself for example the game I'm playing destiny I lost interest in because it turns out you have to buy the expansion packs to get the full feeling of the game and that kind of took away from the game for me a little bit so I'm going to put that game on the shelf for a little bit of time. But there were a lot of games we missed out on playing in the year 2014. And hopefully throughout 2015 we could sprinkle those games in everywhere. Uh, every little place here, there, and everywhere. But anyway, with 2015 comes new games. And it doesn't... Every month there's a new game and it there is no pause. January already has a new game coming out, which I will be starting a walkthrough on at the end of the month. Mike has a game that's coming out that's remastered that's coming out towards the end of the month also, but more towards the middle. But most importantly, walkthroughs will begin on Frontline Gaming Zone immediately. Starting this week, we are going to be testing the waters. We're going to be grabbing some older games. I'm going to be doing two. I'm going to be doing Alien Isolation because I've wanted to play that game for so long, and I have played a little bit of it off camera. I want to bring the experience on camera, though, so I can share my experiences um, while I'm playing the game for the first time. Also, I'll be doing The Last of Us because two years ago, The Last of Us won uh, my game of the year. And uh, this year, for the PlayStation 4, they made a, a remastered version of it. Better graphics. I don't know how you could get better graphics in one year. But it has all the DLC uh, attached to it. So I'll be doing a walkthrough of that and Alien Isolation in anticipation for my new game, which is coming on January 27th. Look up January 27th and maybe you'll find out what game it is. There are a few games that come out on January 27th. That's Frontline Gaming Zone. Zone4podcast.com. Hit points once a month. It's going to be an audio podcast. It will be on Zone4podcast.com, comic related. And we decided to post hit points on Comic Frontline. So 
Comic Frontline will have the video audio version. The original audio version will be on Zone4Podcast.com. There is an, ex uh, an extended, or we call it an expansion pack, where we'll be touching on specific games, like gameplay or like little events or interviews, and we'll be giving our opinions as those gameplays are going on, or there'll be little news tidbits. Uh, but we're going to work on that in the new year. Now, all that leads to this channel, Dark Avenger C86, my channel. This year marks the year where our comic review, I say our because it's mine and Michael's because we both do it, our comic review will be hitting its 300th episode, which is a huge milestone. And with the 300th episode coming, um, starting now, I'm thinking about where I want to go after 300. Do I want to change up the formula a bit? Do I want to work on a different type of show instead? Do I want to change things up? Uh, or do I want to keep going for another 100 episodes and then maybe after that I want to change it up? I don't know. I'm still debating on what I want to do with the comic reviews. But the 300th episode will be in August at the end, just like the 200th. And like the 200th and like the 100th, there will be a celebration weekend and there will be tons of videos attached to it. So you can look forward to that in August. Um, also on Comic Frontline, I'd like to add that we will be having the first annual Comic Frontline uh, award show, which Jay and I will be hosting. Uh, when you see this video, if you're watching it the day it goes up, it'll be today. If not, it's the Tuesday live show, and I would definitely recommend you guys check it out. We had a lot of fun with the voting and everything, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing this award show. Uh, okay, back to my channel, though. So that's the reviews. The whole video will stay the same. I didn't do a whole video this week, obviously, because there were only four books I got, and you guys saw it already in the review. Um, next week's haul is going to be big because it's a lot of comics, and then there's a lot of extra stuff that we've gotten um, the past couple of weeks. But anyway, uh, hauls are going to stay the same. I now officially have the last volume of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so Comic Book Corner episodes should be coming at some point, and maybe I'll continue Comic Book Corner a little bit and cover some of my other trade paperbacks. We'll see, because Comic Book Corner is also on Comic Frontline, so I might divide it up, or I might just do it after the Turtles, I might just move Comic uh, Comic Book Corner all the way to Comic Frontline, and that's that. Now, this is the major announcement that I could give you guys for my channel for right now. There is going to be a shakeup in the live shows. There will be a live show on my channel three Fridays out of the four Fridays, or four Fridays out of the five Fridays, every I don't think there's ever a fifth Friday now that I think about it, but there will be live shows on my channel every week except one. And uh, as you guys know, all my live shows have been connected to Zone 4 Podcast. The good news in that is um, me and Brent will be working on a schedule for my live shows. So if you want to know what live shows are going to be on what week, starting next week, check out Zone4Podcast.com. On the website will be a... Um, list or a schedule for the next four weeks worth of live shows on my channel. Now, what live shows will I be doing on my channel? Epic Rewind was an everything podcast. And so was It's a Bird, It's a Plane, It's a Podcast. So I decided to take It's a Bird, It's a Plane, It's a Podcast, turn it into a live show, and make that the definitive comics and toys podcast. That will be happening once or twice a month interchanging with Epic Rewind. So what's going to happen to Epic Rewind? Epic Rewind is going to live up to its title. It's going to be a recap show for all of us on, on Frontline Gaming Zone. Epic Rewind will be once or twice a month. It'll be interchanging with It's a Bird, It's a Plane, It's a Podcast live. Uh, and what Epic Rewind will be will be everybody on Frontline Gaming Zone that can make the live show and we will be sitting down talking about our experiences with the games that we are playing on Frontline Gaming Zone. And, for example, if I'm playing uh, Alien Isolation and somebody else played it, we'll be basically sharing our gaming experience uh, or our gaming... Yeah, our gaming experiences on Frontline Gaming Zone, but we'll also be sharing our thoughts on games uh, that are coming out, that will be coming out, gaming news. It's basically going to be a gaming live show, and it's mainly going to touch on the stuff that we're doing on Frontline Gaming Zone, and basically just us sharing our thoughts on the games that we're playing at that time. Um, 
Example, I'm going to start Alien Isolation. So on the next Epic Rewind, I'm probably going to be talking about my experiences at the beginning of Alien Isolation, what my uh, beginning thoughts are on the game, how I felt the beginning was, how I thought the setup was, etc., etc. That's going to be interchanging. Now, once a month is Hall of Toys, so once a month on my channel I won't be going live because me and Brand will be going live on Zone 4 Podcasts YouTube, which is youtube.com backslash Zone 4 Podcast, and on there we'll be talking about the toys and the board games like we always do on Hall of Toys. And that's going to be basically the setup. It's going to be two live shows interchanging between, it's going to be twice a month, either Epic Rewind or It's a Podcast. Then we're going to have Hall of Toys, and that's going to be the end of the month, mostly. I'm trying to remember if there was any other live shows that we're talking about making at the moment. Two, one, no. So we're going to have four live shows a month. If there's a, a ha it happens to be that there's a fifth Friday, probably the show that's single will double up. So we're going to be doubling up one of the two shows. Like I said, keep an eye on the schedule and on Twitter. I will tweet you guys at the beginning of the week what live show will be going on on Friday. But I'm really excited to start the new year. Also, away from the Friday live shows, the morning stream with me and Brant will be coming back, hopefully starting this weekend. And uh, we're going to be having a lot of fun on the morning stream. We're going to be touching on everything. It's just going to be literally a morning stream where we sit down, have a good time. We might even play some community games on there like Mario Kart or Super Smash Brothers. We'll have Brant play some games again. I know a lot of you guys enjoyed him playing Vanish. Vanish was patched, so maybe Brant can actually beat Vanish this time. We'll see. But anyway... I'm really excited for the Friday live shows. Dan will be back for It's a Podcast, as always. And open invite for Dan to come on with me and Brant on uh, Hall of Toys. And uh, Epic Rewind, everybody's welcome to come on. Uh, Dan is definitely welcome to come on. Everybody on Frontline Gaming Zone is welcome to come on. And uh, like I said, it's going to be a gaming recap podcast. It's going to recap everything we've done in the month of whatever, unless it's tw uh, twice a month. Then it's basically recapping what we've done in the past two weeks where the gaming. Uh, but I'm looking forward to everything in 2014. I hope I didn't confuse you guys with the uh, live shows. If I did, the best thing I could tell you is check out zone4podcast.com and the schedule will be, will be answered there. The biggest change is that Epic Rewind is becoming It's a Podcast and It's a Podcast is going to have no gaming on it and Epic Rewind will be a recap show of stuff that we're doing on Frontline Gaming Zone. That's the best way for me to explain it. And one month, it'll be two Epic Rewinds, Hall of Toys, and an It's a Podcast. And then the following month, it'll be two It's a Podcast, one Epic Rewind, and Hall of Toys. We're going to be alternating the It's a Podcast and Epic Rewind. They're going to switch up every month, uh, the doubling up, because one live show has to double up. And every Tuesday, like I said, will be Frontline Live. So that's another really awesome live show I would definitely recommend you guys check out. And as always, you never know. Big things, new things can happen at any time in the new year. I'm looking forward to all the things that are going to be happening on all the channels this year. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. And like I said, I hope you guys had a great beginning of your new year. I will see you guys soon. As always, check out all the channels I just mentioned. If you like what you see, click the sub button. This way we're in your sub box or I'm in your sub box and you don't miss out on a single video. If you guys have any recommendations comic book wise, game wise, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if we have the games and if we have the extra money, we will definitely check out the comics. And if it's a game, we will definitely consider doing that game at some point on Frontline Gaming Zone. We are definitely, this year is going to be the year where things really build up and hopefully big things happen at the end of the year all around for all the channels. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Take care and I'll see you guys really soon in the next video.